Hey what's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Ines Alea and today it's quite a special video. Ever since I was a kid I was amazed by magic more than anything. The surreal part of it and the creativity of impossible visions of other people just inspired me. It became a big passion of mine. Movies such as Harry Potter were my favorite back in the days. I think that's partially the reason why I became a visual effects artist. So I could too become a wizard with a computer. Designing my own life, my ideas, my vision, it's just awesome. Now my girlfriend knows about this and yesterday she was in a small Chinese store here in Ghent, Belgium. It was hidden very well actually, uh, but it attracted her so much that she actually went inside. The store was full of amazing things, full of things that she has never ever seen before, but there was one particular item that struck her. It was just amazing that she actually found this. She found a 100% replica of the Harry Potter's invisibility cloak. I know right, it's hard to believe, but I actually have it right here because she loves me so much that she actually bought it for me. So let me show you. I have it right here, so let me take it up. How cool is this, right? All right. You probably don't see me right now, but here I am. All right, that's super cool. Come on, you gotta be serious right here. This is next level. And I can show you how to do this right after this. Alright, so let's see how I did this in Adobe Premiere Pro. It's actually quite a simple workflow. All you need is a camera on a tripod and a green blanket, just like this one right here. So I have this green blanket that I used for the effect. I'll put some links in the description below so you can go and check that out if you want one for yourself. How cool is this, right? All right. You probably don't see me right now, but here I am. All right. You could also work with other colors. Green is just a color that keys very well. And then you just record your shot while you're in the green blanket. After that, you would record a few seconds without yourself in the shot. So you have a clean plate. I actually did two takes on this one because I didn't actually think of shooting outside with a green screen where everything else is also green like the grass and the trees and that made the shot a little bit more difficult but here is what I came up with. I know right? That's so awesome. Oh my god. You can probably not see me right now. How cool is that? Boom, I'm right here. It also looks okay, but like the shadow areas were a little bit dodgy, so I preferred redoing my shoot inside where there is no green in my background. It's a little bit better to work with. And then you have this new video. So once you have your video, import it in Adobe Premiere Pro and then bring it in a new sequence. Alt drag that video on a new layer. So now you have two identical video clips. Disable the top layer for now and then we will concentrate ourselves on the first layer or the first clip. Find a spot where you are not in the shot so we're going to be using our clean plate right away. So find that frame where you are not in the shot and then right click on your footage and go to frame halt options. Choose source time code and hit ok. Now you have a frozen clip with that exact source time code. Now you can enable your top clip again and here we want to apply a keying effect. Go to Effects Keying Ultra Key. Here select the Puppet tool and select a mid-green color. Then depending on your shot you'll have to adjust everything a bit to your preferences. The settings that worked for me were Transparency 35, Highlight 0, Shadow 50, Tolerance and Pedestal at 100, Choke and Soften also at 100, the Contrast to 0, and that's it, so that worked best for me. I also disabled all the uh, spill effects and suppressors just to have my clean image. And boom, you have your awesome Harry Potter invisibility cloak effect. 
how cool is this, right? Of course the shadows sometimes are a little bit too strong so you can animate these when you want to hide it completely. You can do that by bringing the effect lower, but it would also interfere with yourself like for example in my hair it would interfere so be careful that you are not in the shot while doing so. And that's basically it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like. Also subscribe to the channel and definitely hit the bell icon so you get notified when I upload new videos. Apart from that, check out our website. We have a bunch to offer for filmmakers, motion graphics artists, and so on. And if you buy something from the website, it helps to support the channel. I hope to see you in the next one and goodbye.